Hi everybody, here I have Lenovo Think Center M75Q and in this video I'm going to explain you how to increase the RAM by adding an extra bank. For the upgrade I've purchased this 32GB DDR4 silicon power memory module. It operates at 3200 MHz. The physical size is SODIUM. This is the size that you typically find in laptops, but it is also compatible with the uh, mini PC that I've got here, the Lenovo Think Center M75Q Generation 2. It is brand new, so let's do a proper careful unboxing. There is a QR code on the packaging which allows you to register the memory module at the website of the manufacturer and to extend the warranty. Here is a closer look at the memory chips available on the printed circuit board of the RAM module. If you haven't noticed, we are living in a crazy times and the RAM prices are going up. Recently, even the Raspberry Pi announced price increases due to the rising memory demand. The first step is to disassemble the metal case of the computer. For this, a screwdriver is required. Remove any media from the drive, turn off the computer and disconnect all power cords from the electrical outlets. The computer must be completely turned off and I have already done this. First I remove the Wi-Fi antenna. After that using a screwdriver I've unfastened and removed the big screw on the back of the computer which acts as a locking device for the cover. After that, using both of my hands, I gently slided the top cover of the case of the PC to the front and lift it up. My next step was to rotate the whole PC and to remove the bottom metal cover. This way I have access to the bottom of the motherboard of the computer and I can replace the SSD or the RAM modules. Step number two is to plug the new RAM bank into the free sodium slot. M75Q Generation 2 has two sodium slots for RAM. Um, I bought this computer with 8GB and the second sodium slot is free. I'm gonna plug the new memory in it. During the installation of the new additional memory, ensure that you align the memory module to the slot and press down on both ends until the latches are fully engaged with a click. However, beware that you won't hear the click in my video because I've muted the background noise for this part of the video. Here is a closer look at the result. And this is the original memory module that came up with the computer. It's just 8 gigabytes. As you have seen, the motherboard of ThinkCenter M75Q has two slots for RAM. Originally, I bought the laptop with 8GB of RAM and now I added an extra bank with 32GB of RAM. So, although the motherboard supports dual channel, my setup does not take advantage of the dual channel technology. Keep this in mind and if you're performing an upgrade, I highly recommend you to actually have to exactly the same banks of RAM. In future, I'll probably buy another 32 gigabyte of RAM bank and I'm gonna upgrade the whole system to a total of 64 gigabytes. After inserting the new memory module, back on my desk, I have to assemble together the M75Q mini PC. Obviously, the process is exactly the same as the disassembly, but this time in reverse order. Thanks to the magic of modern technologies and video editing, and in order not to waste your time, I'm gonna speed up this part of the video. Just for reference, I have to say that the assembly took me about a minute. It's straightforward and easy. One more thing, I have to do a little bit of wiring. I connected a mouse, a keyboard, and a monitor. If you keep an eye on my channel, you know that I'm a huge fan of Lenovo ThinkPad laptops because they have some advanced features such as the Lenovo Diagnostics. And actually, the same feature is available on this ThinkCenter M75Q Generation 2 Mini PC. Let's use it to test the new memory module. 
Immediately after turning on the computer, when the Lenovo logo was shown on the screen, I hit enter to interrupt the normal startup. From the menu, I pressed F10 to diagnose the hardware. Lenovo Diagnostics offer different tests and tools. Keep in mind that this runs before the operating system, so no matter if you are using Microsoft Windows or Linux, you can run these tests. First I had a look at the system information about the memory and I verified that we have 40 GB of RAM available. This is a combination of the 8 GB that were available with the PC as I bought it, plus the extra 32 GB of RAM that I've just installed. While looking at this information I'm a little bit sorry that I didn't upgrade to 64 GB and I'm not using the dual channel feature available on the motherboard. After that I went back to the home screen and I selected the memory diagnostics. It offers two different types of tests, quick and extended. And in this video I'm going to demonstrate you the quick test which takes approximately uh, about 12 minutes. Of course we're not going to wait that long in this video so I'm going to fast forward to the results. Everything is okay, all tests passed. This quick test ensures that my new 32 gigabyte memory module works fine with my system. I exited the Lenovo diagnostics and the computer continued booting. As you know from my other videos I'm a Linux user and I have Ubuntu 2404 on this machine. It comes with the GNOME desktop environment and inside the graphical user interface when I open the settings application inside the system menu I also verified that the RAM is reported as 40 gigabytes just as expected. At the end of the video, let's summarize. Lenovo ThinkCenter M75Q Generation 2 supports DDR4 at frequency of 3200 MHz. It has two sodium RAM slots, so you can use dual channel, and in total, you can install up to 64 GB of RAM. By the way, my version of this tiny computer has a pretty good AMD Ryzen 5 560 CPU. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that this video was useful. As you have seen, upgrading the RAM of Lenovo ThinkCenter M75Q Generation 2 is easy and straightforward, anyone can do it. I bought this computer a couple of years ago and recently I realized that actually the CPU is quite good and I can use it as a small build machine for some of the Yocto images that I built. And if you haven't heard about Yocto, please have a look at my videos about getting started with the Yocto project and open embedded on Raspberry Pi 5, where I explain you how to build your own custom embedded Linux distribution. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and hit the like button. Stay tuned for new videos.